something oops, going on oops, in her oops, head. Oops, oops, oops. Oh. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded some videos and I am excited to bring you a very special edition box from Unplugged Book Box. And this is the extra large horror box. Horror box. So it just comes in the white packaging. Huge box. It's pretty hefty. I'm excited. So with me today is my beautiful husband from Everyday Gaming Society, so make sure you check out his YouTube channel as well. All the links and all the information will be put down below for you. So you ready? Let's do it. Keep the distance. Not hold the box from afar. Don't cut it towards <laughs> me. <laughs> You're such a baby. Not a baby. It's being Safety Steve. Really? It's got a ring to it. <laughs> all right. Ooh, there we go. That could have been bad. Okay, you get one side, you get one side, because it's pretty, pretty hefty. Three, one, two, three. Whoa, it is. It's got some uh, top heavy weight. It's some squigglies in it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make a mess. So this is the card. All the spoilers are on the back. We're not gonna look at that, and we'll make sure that we highlight them down below so everybody knows where they are. And black squigglies. I think you grabbed something else in there. I did. Yep. Okay. All right, so first up, we have the Riddles Tea Shop uh, Summer Blends, an unexpected book box, or an unexpected, unplugged <laughs> book box. Unexpected. Wow, I can't read. <laughs> so this is loose leaf tea. It's gluten-free, sugar-free, uh, nut and dairy-free. You steep at 212 degrees for five minutes. Use one teaspoon per cup. This is caffeinated free tea, and it comes with this really cool, like, it's hard to see, but a skeleton spoon. Very neat. Next up here. Oh. Muscles. Got the bleed. The way. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Ouija board, right? Yep. And it looks like it's a small pillowcase, which I don't have, we don't have any pillows this shape. So it looks like I'll be taking this to the store. Very cool. It's very, um, and it says exorcism. An excellent day for an exorcism. Goodbye. Super soft. She's rubbing my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Next right. item. Next up. Ooh. She's making Let's noises. Must package. be cool. So it is a <laughs> headband <laughs> from Fable Bands. So basically, that's the care instructions on that. And it looks like. What is this from? I don't know what it's probably from. says in the packaging, maybe. No, and that one that I just threw that's all the way under that desk. So just go ahead and you know. I think I look dumb with headbands on, but whatever. You look fine. I'm just gonna play it this way you do it. And the next one we have, big bag with a zipper. I don't have to fight and use a razor blade for this one. Thank goodness. Ooh. Huge blanket. Well, <laughs> he says that when he opens that. It's not a bad size. Did I say it's a five foot blanket? Oh, it's Edgar Allan Poe. My cat's named after Edgar Allan Poe. Well, we just call him Poe. Super soft. See? Edgar Allan Poe. The raven's up here. Down here should be the heart. That's what I was looking for. It's an awesome blanket. I love it. I love Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Not a bad size. It's, it's cold in here, so I'm going to use that too. Alright. So next up, some black bubble wrap. Oh, this looks like it's Pan's Labyrinth. And the funny thing is, this guy right here, I met him at Comic Con. Super cool dude, by the way. 
but it's a beautiful camping mug, or uh, ceramic mug. Pan's Labyrinth. Neat. Next one, bread wrapping with a chrome skull on top. They lied. It's not just red, we have another layer. Must be something nice. Bates Motel, warm hospitality, dark secrets, mom's love. 100% soy, hand poured. From Get Fictional Candle Company, or just Get Fictional. So it doesn't really have what it is, as far as the smell. Oh, we can't melt that. Give me the lip, my eyes burn. So, there's cinnamon in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like totally stuck my face in that. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what's in there. But it's a wood wick. It's really pretty. I'd open it and show you it. But um, there's cinnamon in it. so he, I'll burn it in the garage. Yeah, he can, he can burn that where cool. I'm not at. Alright, so next up. They always package their stuff really nice. Ooh, it looks like it is soap. So you have um, a pumpkin sucker bath bomb, which is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Yet again, something else I can't use. I can. <laughs> and then we also have red rum. There's the door. And it has the little designs on it, or the wall or the door, I can't tell. All right, next one we have Crystal Lake Slasher Body Butter. Hey. Check out that. That's pretty cool. And don't worry, it looks like it's on the outside, so the body butter is not going to have red in it. Give it a smell. Oh, that smells so good. It does smell very good. Oh, give it to me. Give like it spoonful to me. good. It, <laughs> it looks just like white frosting. If you were to put this into a container in the someone's fridge with a spoon that said, don't eat me, someone probably might. Oh my god, that smells so good. These little moisture on your skin from shower, apply a small amount, don't leave the product in hot places, use within three months of opening, so we got to use it in three months since he opened it. Um, it has pure shea butter, sunflower seed oil, um, something clay, vitamin E, red 40, it's scented green apple, pineapple, melon, and cherry pie, and a sugary vanilla base. Um, that's phenomenal, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to share that. I think there's cinnamon in there that I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for this though. This will be my um, second ever book sleeve. Did not know this was a thing. Ruined tons of books in my bag. But this book sleeve, the story told through the eyes of a madman who likes all of us, uh, believed that he was sane. And it is um, skeletal remains, nice. Got the heart just underneath the rib cage. Felt fabric with a uh, snap clasp. Who would have ever thought? But yeah, there's the writing on it. Super beautiful. I love this. The other one that I have is Game of Thrones, and I currently have um, Girl Serpent Thorn in it. Maybe I don't. I don't remember the name of the book. I haven't started reading it yet. I stuck it in there with hopes of reading it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Next one up, we have. Sorry, sorry to come apart. An exclusive four ounce candle. Hold Ooh, on. Ooh that looks pretty. <laughs> I can easily tell you if there's cinnamon in it because my eyes are watering really bad now. Yeah, there's cinnamon in that. It's pretty, pretty outside, but. Um, cool design. My eyes burn so bad right now. <laughs> Another one for the garage, I guess. <laughs> Shut the lid on that one. Put it in my pile. Okay. Your pile. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have three. They're all, they all have cinnamon in it. You can't use it. <laughs> Here's my pile over here. Excuse me, that does not have cinnamon in it. It's trying to steal body butter. It does. Does not. Ah. All that right. smells so good. <laughs> he like takes another one. Okay, so next up we have... Um, a Pennywise Roller Perfume Candy Apple. The ingredients are coconut oil and fragrance oil. 
and it has um, Pennywise on it, which is super hard to see because this camera doesn't like to focus anyways. But um, roll some of this on, rub it. Well, at least I don't smell like an old lady, like the last perfume I got. No, it doesn't smell that bad. And then inside here, also in this little bag, is a pin, which is, um, I forgot what they're called. Back in the plague days where they wore those long beaked masks. So it's one of those guys. I can't remember the name of them, but I don't know if you can see that. Try to hide the light a little bit, but there's that little dude, which we'll go on. Last thing in the box. There's two, so might as well one each. Okay. They so are metal. They're bookends. And they, let's see, his says, it is a, mis a mistake to fancy that horror is associated with an ex something, I can't read that, with darkness, silence, and solitude that is not dead, which cannot eternal lie. And with strange and even death may die. And explicitly. Oh, uh, explicitly. Okay. That, uh, yeah, explicitly. Oh, I'm sorry. B, B See, if I can't really <laughs> want to take the time to figure it out, I just stick it in Google and have it say it for me. So. The modern day smartphone. <laughs> so, Great. and the, well, the very, very last thing in the box is announcing the Unplugged uh, Book Box next special edition box, which is the Cozy Autumn Box. Which they actually already sold out of this. Um, there is a wait list for it. I can tell you right now, um, minus my unicorn piece going off. Um, I already ordered this box. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> well, this was there was cozy autumn things in it. But you know, you should be happy because there's probably going to be cinnamon scented yes. stuff in this box. More too. stuff for me. So let's talk about real quick the price on this thing. Um, Hopefully you guys and gals out there are sitting down because this might be a little bit of a shock. This extra large special edition box. It cost um, just under one hundred dollars. What yes. was that? Well, it was basically one hundred dollars with shipping and handling. So it was ninety-five dollars uh, for the box for the extra large box, and then I can't remember what shipping and handling was, but it was a little over a hundred dollars for this box. So um, we'll go through everything that is in here. And the Edgar Allan Poe blanket uh, was designed exclusively for them by Monster Man Graphic. Edgar Allan Poe book sleeve um, was by Tall the Telltale Heart and was designed by Azora Arts. And both these items are in their shop right now that you can purchase. The HP Lovecraft bookends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So Ninth House Headband was um, designed by Fable, <laughs> Fable Bands, <laughs> I can't read. Midsummer Tea and Spoon was um, by Riddle Tea Shop. It Perfume, Wards Off Pennywise with its exclusive perfume roller by The Fairy Hideout. And then you have the Plague Doctor pin. See Plague Doctor. Why Why was that so hard for me? I don't know. <laughs> Words are hard right now. It was inspired by the Plague Doctor masks used to ward off the plague, which is kind of fitting for what's going on right now. <laughs> the Shining Soap is the next one. Yep, so the Shining Soap. So the exclusive soap comes in a few different patterns and is inspired by the Shining. So some of you guys might have gotten a different soap than we did. It was made by the Potion Cabinet, um, and if you want to save money on their Etsy shop, which will I, I will post down below with the code UNPLUGGED, and you, you will save some money. The Trick or Treat Bath Bomb, which that movie was awful, <laughs> by the way. Um, it was, let's see, I need to stop saying um, that's awful. Exclusive Bath Bomb by The Witch's Bath. And then you have Friday the 13th Lotion. Which Smells is great. By Nature's <laughs> Whimsy. Bates Motel Candle, which is exclusive get fictional candle. And we have the Blob Candle. See, I didn't even get to see the pretty thing of that because I could have known that that was my favorite movie growing up was The Blob. I watched it all the time with my mom. The remake sucked. Awful. Don't ever watch it. Watch the original one. It's better. 
Your eyes were watering up too bad. I know. My <laughs> eyes burn. My eyes still burn. So the black candle was, let's see, by Erie Candle Company. Pan's Labyrinth Mug. See, I nailed that one. Was by Rachel Trem Trembley. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm awful. I'm sure and she's listening. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Rachel. Sorry. <laughs> and then the exclusive pillowcase, which is inspired by The Exorcist. Yep. Very and cool. it is super soft. And that is pretty much it. So. For the just under $100, what was your favorite item? My favorite item, I would have to say, would be the um, body whip that you stole. The body whip, she calls it. It smells so good. Shea Body Butter. Whoever would know that Crystal Lake smelt so good. But I have to say my absolute favorite thing, because I love blankets. Anyone in my household can attest. I have like three blankets on the couch for myself alone. But I love this blanket. Because I love my grandpa. So much, she named her cat. I did. My favorite item besides the Shea Body Butter would have to be the Bates Motel candle, holding it far enough away from her so she doesn't start to <laughs> go into cry mode. It's just my eyes, the cinnamon. But overall, not a bad box. This no. is the first one that I've opened. How about you? Um, from Unplugged, I've opened several of their boxes. I really enjoy the company. They do a fantastic job curating the boxes. I'm actually waiting for my book box which will be shipping in a couple in a week or so but I am looking forward to the autumn box and I mean we have a few other special edition boxes coming so I'm super excited to unbox those and really I'm looking forward to the content that we are planning on making here shortly now that we are back in our office which you have noticed the background is green this is actually our gaming office slash content office so our walls are green for the green screens <laughs> fun we're nerds just a little bit nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> but until the next game until the next time <laughs> see, I, yeah i made it through almost an entire video without stumbling on my words and you have no idea how hard it is to edit this sometimes i can't talk in general so it doesn't even i've matter. been talking fluent i've been you know trying to pronounce my words but Anyway, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you visit Megan again. Visit me, Everyday Game Society, and goodbye. <laughs>